Hi, this is Mark from Show Me Construction and today I'm going to put a convenience plug in the bottom of these stairs. What I'm going to be using to cut it out is a multi-tool. This is the box I'm going to use. It's called, um, some people call it a, an old work box or a cut-in box. And you cut the hole out according to these dimensions so the box will fit right in like that. And then when these tabs, as you're screwing it in, these tabs will open up and pull against the wall in the back and hold it in and that's the way it's designed but now we're going to run our wire and in this underneath these stairs there is already a box a junction box and I'm going to pull off that junction box and run a wire right down here Got my wire. I'm going to run it out about, about six or eight inches. Stick our box in there. And as you're screwing this in, those wings will fold up and will pull against the back. And that's how you tighten this box up. wires being real careful just to cut the outside coating the way I'm going to wire this up in I'm first going to wire in the ground. The neutral is going to go, when you do identify the neutral on a plug, 
it'll be the silver screw and the load and the load or the line will be on the gold screw or the hot so the hot wire will hook it up into the gold screw right here and it's very important to not get those crossed all right yeah. now that I got that I can wire that push this back in and put my install the plug in the box Okay, and now I'm going to just put this cover on. Okay, I got it all hooked up here, but now there's still no power to this plug yet until I wire it in to the junction box under the stairs. And what I need to do is I need to find the circuit that controls that junction box so I can turn the power off. I've got a plug right here behind the stairs and I plugged in this transmitter into it. And I'm gonna take my test, my receiver to the circuit panel and I'll be able to find the power to that plug and turn the power off. And to do that, I press this button and I start moving this. this. There it is. And of course the little light on this transmitter now is off. So I know that there's, that that circuit is dead right now. And the junction I'm going to tie into is right here. This is a Klein transmitter and receiver. You plug this into your outlet and you press this button at your, at your panel and you go up and down the panels, up and down the, the breakers. And when you get to the correct breaker that this is plugged into, it'll get, you'll hear a constant beep, a constant tone rather. And then you switch that breaker off. And that tells you what circuit you need to shut off to work with it. It's very, it's very nice if you're, if you're working by yourself and you don't have another person that you can go through and flip breakers. This is a really nice tool to have. I'm going to tie this wire into this. This is just the junction box. And I'm going to tie it in right here. It's just a convenience plug. So... Right now I, I got the wire, so I'm going to cut it, leave it a little bit long to give me some room to staple my wires up. <clears throat> and I got to staple my wires, but I'll leave myself a little bit of room. Pull the wire up out of the way. That's good right there. 
and I'll cut this. It doesn't need to be that long. And these, this, this is a circuit I shut off at the panel. I'm going to strip this. When you cut this, you just cut real light because you don't. You just want to cut this outside protect, protection coating. You don't want to cut in into any of the wires. And then the first thing we do, we're going to wire our grounds up. The grounds are just a bare copper wire. They're very important to have a, if you have wires that are grounded, it's very important to keep them grounded. And make sure that they're all put together. And the next one we're gonna wire up the neutrals, which is the white wire. And we're gonna wire these together. And I'm going to twist them. This is to, to you twist them to make sure they're really put together correctly and they're not going to slip out. And the last one here, the, the black one. This is our power, our hot wire. And I'm also going to twist these together. And that's pretty much it here. Now, <clears throat> I'll have to get the cover plate on this one. And, of course, I'll come back and I'll staple all this wire up. Like this is stapled up. And I'll have to come back and staple these wires up. But right now, we're all we're plugged in and we're ready to turn the, the, the breaker back on. Okay, I turned the breaker back on. And we've got a red wire, a red light, and an orange light going. And if I look on my tester, it reads correct. The red and the orange is wired correct. So we're we're going, we're grounded, and we've got power here now to this plug. So now just cleaning up. Make sure you can plug your fan in and blow air up the stairs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button, and then we'll we'll get you more. Thanks for watching. Oh, you're recording it? <laughs> I don't I didn't have any staples, so I couldn't staple them. <laughs> Two ain't gonna put that.